Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're working on Odessa, Florida. We're going to be doing a house wash, uh, driveway, pool deck, and the pool screen. Uh, I got Ace Power Washing with me today. He's going to be doing this job with me, rocking out for the day. I may have a second job on the schedule today, but I'm not sure. I got to call the customer to verify because I go there. You guys probably see me do it. I go over there and do a um, gutter cleaning for her every two months. So uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like and leave a comment. If you got any questions, just drop them in the comment section. Uh, hit that bell for those notifications, man. So with that said, let's go check this job out. So this is the job here. You got a dirty driveway. Ace is um, pre-treating the concrete before he starts. Pretty decent sized driveway. You got the walkway up to the front door over here. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a house wash. I've serviced this house before about two years ago, but I think only I did the gutters, the, the exterior. The, actually, no, I did the whole gutter cleaning. We did the gutter cleaning and um, what we did, the driveway and the pool cage. You, can, you guys can see it's pretty green up there. Gutters are full, but they're not doing a gutter cleaning this time. Got some cobwebs all the way through here. It's heavy too, but everywhere. Oh man, it's a bird nest right there. I don't want to disturb him. Hope nothing is in there. So the face is pretty dirty up there, especially right over here. You can see how green that is. All across the top. We're gonna downstream this whole property. Take you guys around the back. The pool cage is full of pine needles. I am not here for pine needle removal. As you guys can see, <laughs> the customer knows about these pine needles. That's not what he called me out here for. Of course, I'll see if I can get some of them off so it's not too heavy, but just let you guys know, so you see pine needles left over when I'm done, that's why, look at that. I mean, the whole entire thing is filled up with pine needles. The customer actually does it himself with the pool rake. And he says, man, within a couple days, they just come right back. And golly, this thing is coated. One thing is good, you know, you got the nice shade from the trees, but man, I mean, look at that, it's right over the top of us. They're all in the pool. All on the pool deck. So they're used to it, to say the least. But yeah, we're gonna be cleaning this up. House washing back here, and let me see. Got some green up there on the fascia. Look that green, man, look at that green. We're gonna clean this up. We're gonna start with the pool cage and pool deck first, get that out of the way. Wash the back of the house. And then um, as Ace is gonna be doing the, uh, the driveway. So this is Ace right here. He's gonna be doing the driveway. He's running a four GPM with his um, he got a 19 inch whisper wash like me, but he has the, uh, I think that's the classic. I got the extreme, so. But yeah, he's gonna be doing the driveway. I'm gonna be doing the pool deck to start off. So uh, let me get my gun and set up and get ready to rock.
All right, you guys. So we just got the cage and the pool deck downstream. So you guys have been asking me a lot lately. What's the mix? What's the mix? It's down. It was just downstreaming straight SH. It depends on the injector you're using. You might be pulling a 1%. You might be pulling a 1.5, 1.25. Anything under two downstreaming is pretty good, man. So that's going to get most of everything done. So there's no need to make it complicated. You don't need to put water in your SH, just downstream straight SH. Put your downstream into right into the SH jug or bucket or your tank, whichever you're using. So everything is downstream. I know this stuff over there look like wood, but it's, they're metal, they're not wood. <laughs> so I wouldn't be spraying SH all over them like that or getting overspray on them. And this outdoor furniture like this doesn't get hurt from our downstreaming mix. So um, I don't have to worry about that either. So. We're gonna let this dwell for a little bit. Let's go see what Ace got going on. All right, looks like Ace is making good progress. Keep in mind, he's using a four GPM, so. That's pretty good so far. He got his whole area already cleaned up. He's working on this right now. guys ace is gonna finish up uh rinsing the the driveway right here he's already got more than half done i got the back done already as well but i had to take a little break to let my buffer tank fill up because this house has low flow and he's pulling out four gpm i'm pulling out eight gpm so we ran out i ran out of water he didn't because he's connecting straight to the spigot um but you can see man he did a fantastic job over here uh, this concrete here is kind of dirty when we got here so we may post treat it i know up front over there where he's at uh the water settles over there so he's probably gonna post treat that area but now i got about a half a tank i can go ahead and start doing the pool deck myself like i said the pool uh cage is already done i got most of the pine needles that i could you know the big chunks but you know, obviously I'm not going to sit here and remove every single one because that's not part of my job. But it looks much better than when we started. All right, guys, we're going to start. Let me see what I'm going to start. I got to move some furniture a little bit, not too much. It's a big deck, so I can just slide it over, but we'll figure it out. Enjoy. We got a deck all cleaned up, looking spiffy. No more algae, got all the pine needles up. They were caked up around the bottom of the border, but 
Got that rinsed up. Got this top area right here cleaned up as well. Put everything back. Now we're gonna start on the house wash. I think Ace should be done. He's actually post treating right now. Looks like he's already post treated this area right here. She's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna start soaping the house uh, from this side right here. Move up to this way, rinse it up so I can roll the hoses up back in my van. Um, I'm not sure the game plan yet. I got to talk to Ace, see how we're gonna do it. I might go ahead and soap up and he come behind me and rinse so it's easier. We'll figure it out. you guys you see I'm downstream in the front of the house there was a lot of algae on those earlier Ace is coming around this way he's uh, applying chemical once he get done with that I'm gonna continue soaping coming this way and I'm gonna go come back and start rinsing going back the other way while he wrapping up pillars are coming out really good already had a lot of cobwebs earlier. Gotta rinse them up. Yes, sir. Getting it done. I'm gonna see if I can leave that bird's nest right there. I have to look at the video, see if there's anything in there. Uh, let's see back here. Everything is dwelled up already. Ready to go, ready to rinse. You just popped off? No, I'm saying for the wand. Uh-huh. Oh. But for that, it's like crazy. Yeah. So Ace is gonna go ahead and rinse off everything back here. Uh he did the this screen in the screen in the area. I did that one over there. So he's gonna rinse this. I'm gonna go ahead and change this uh rinse mode myself, start rinsing from this window here all the way around the house to the front get that done and now uh, we should be wrapping up man job uh, everything got knocked out it took us about three hours total to, to do everything all the services so let's go check it out so this is the driveway here it's wet over here obviously because of the tree blocking the, blocking the sun but it's starting to dry out that side is dried up already no lines 
Ace Sports Street did it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything looks good. Check out the pool deck back there. Homeowner was satisfied with the job. Um, you know the pine needles was gonna be a pain and it's just something they just have to deal with, they know it. Uh, got the pool deck here. Everything's clean in here. Cage clean. Uh, he was more worried by, about the green on the screens. And you guys can see, you can look right through the screens. No algae. There's like a little patio over here. Uh, Ace took care of that. Over here was a little tricky because it's in the middle. So we had to improvise a little bit with the 8 GPM. section here is cleaned up too. This is the front area here. The gutters are clean. Remember how dirty they were earlier? Everything's nice and white. No cobwebs. Top gutters also. Uh, fascia, I should say, are cleaned up. House looks great, man. We all packed up, ready to go. We're gonna see uh, if the next customer wants to get on the schedule, but man, this is a nice house. Oh, nice house. All right, you guys, we're gonna, like I said, call the next customer, see if they wanna get that gutter cleaning done. Pretty easy, just a rinse. Pretty much, there's nothing in the gutters usually. So if I do get it, we'll see you guys there. If I don't get it, I'll see you on the next video. All right, you guys, without action. I called a customer, she said, come on and get the job done. So I just grabbed some lunch, you know, it took me about an hour lunch. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this little gutter cleaning. And I should be done for the day unless a car comes in. You never know, you, you see how it's been going lately. Been getting a lot of walk-ups and uh, you know, customers calling me last second. So if one calls, we got plenty of time to get one more on the schedule. So let's go ahead and pull up to this next job. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, you guys, we had the second job for the day. Returning customer. I'm gonna be doing the gutters here. That's a flush out, man, because there's no debris. Uh, usually there's a little bit of debris over there because it got the trees right there, but not much. Um, I do this here every two months, so it never gets really bad. You know, I just said that um, I hope I get a third job. <laughs> it happened, you guys. I had. This is her sister's house right across the street. If you guys are following uh, followers of the channel, yes, that's the pool, the pool I fell in myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over there and flush out their gutters too when I get done with this one. Um, last time I did that one over there, as you guys can see, there's no trees around that house at all. So normally they don't have nothing in there. So at least for last time I did it. But these gutters here, they're normally empty. And from looking up here, I can tell they have nothing in them. Take you guys down there. <laughs> Look at that. Completely empty. This gutter here usually have a little bit of leaves. Right here. Nothing too heavy. Flush all of these out right here. Make sure the downspout is flowing good. Got some leaves in the down spot right there. Flush it out, make sure it comes out of this one here. They're gonna need a roof cleaning soon. Got some streaks over here. Uh, take you guys around the side. Same thing over here, a little bit of debris, but not much going on. see back here see how we're looking shouldn't be too much back here either oh yeah look at that nice and empty we're gonna use the ball valve shouldn't take long and then we're gonna finish up and go over there do the same thing obviously it's easier to walk this roof than the other roof because of the tiles and these people I left them a car they still haven't hit me up yet because that roof is dirty be a nice ticket right there.
make sure you never walk backwards, man. Because that's how you slip. You don't know where you're going. Watch out for your hose. Step on the, on the hose is a no-no. All that hose is going to do is roll. And you're going to go slide. <laughs> so be careful. Don't walk backwards. Turn around, walk up. So you see where you're going. Got the gutters all flushed. I was there, I was here for like uh, 15 minutes. Took my time, rinsed them out, make sure I got all the sediment out of them. See, look, I cleaned these up. It was nothing in here five minutes ago. And look, stuff done blew down in here already. <laughs> these leaves down here don't play, boy. So we go to the top, nice and clean. Brush the back area already. Gonna pack everything up and um, go across the pond to that house over there. Yeah, man, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, drop any comments that you got about questions. This is the place to ask them right here. If you got questions, I answer all my comments. So don't be shy. All right, you guys, we at the second roof. We just came from across the pond. This one here is not as bad. You don't have no trees, nowhere near it. So show you guys a little sample. So you see just basically dirt. It's not no no leaves or nothing like that so we're gonna rinse all that up give them the peace of mind i don't want to walk all the way around to show you guys because this is tile it takes so long to go around so <laughs> we just had to look at it as i'm filming <laughs> deck <laughs> where I fell in right in that spot right there on them steps pool deck still looks good man sealed up it's been a year over a year looking pretty good for the day man um three jobs good ticket shout out my boy ace coming through this morning linking up with me um we work really well together 
Uh, we got some more jobs coming up, me and him, like I told you guys, in like two weeks. We'll be doing a commercial job together, so you guys will be seeing that on the channel. Like I say, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like, leave a comment if you got any questions. Enjoy the video, guys. Have a good day. Catch y'all next one. Peace.